Hey Masters Golf fans, Herman Williams here, uh, Dawn Patrol here at uh, Augusta, Georgia. We're about to head over across the street to Augusta National. So stay tuned, I'll have more stuff coming soon. Alright, this is the entrance off Berkman Road going into the main gate. Here's the main gate. Okay, we've got our ticket officially in. Let's go start the 2012 Masters practice rounds. All right, we're coming up on the driving range right here. You can see it's pretty dark looking. It's still just a little after 7 a.m. and they're out mowing the greens actually for the practice range. That's Tiger on the left and that's Marco Mira right there to your right side of the screen. Uh, they tend to play these practice rounds together when they can, getting out on, with an early start. Here we kind of pan around the driving range. We'll get some good shots here of Tiger. We've got a decent camera angle up here from the bleachers on the range. Obviously his game's been pretty sharp here of late, so he's highly favored for this year's Masters. And I've got some slow motion stuff for you this year with my special Casio camera. We can actually go from normal speed to slow motion speed, so maybe this will be something kind of interesting to watch for you. Uh, we're going to do a lot of slow motion work as I film players out on the golf course too. I guess he's just got a mid iron here. I, I didn't get to the range right when they started. Here's O'Meara from down the line. I guess it might. Well, that's a fairway wood, maybe. KJ Choi here. And back to Tiger. A little slow mo shot here. I think that's just a fairway wood, maybe teed up on a short tee. form looks pretty good right now. Just a pan view here to give you an idea what it looks like from the bleachers on the range. Now we've got Tiger with the driver. I can't see that far. There's Tom Watson. I think he's going to get an early start out there. We'll go ahead and get out to the first tee. We've got KJ Choi teeing off right now. Unfortunately, we missed Tiger and O'Meara. They didn't get the gates open to the golf course quick enough. So Tom Watson's already on the golf course. Bubba Watson's already on the golf course. Tiger and O'Meara are playing on the backside, so we couldn't catch them teeing off. KJ just pipes that one right down the middle. Uh, this is Hideki Matsuyama from Japan amateur player. He played last year's Masters as well. Great golf swing. And this is Ryu Ishikawa, also of Japan. Pretty big hitter for his size. They've got some wind in their face this uh, morning. It's going to probably get blowing harder in the afternoon, but here we'll get Ryu on a slow motion version of the swing. Really solid posture. You see how straight his back is. Great takeaway. Comes straight to the camera. And you can just see the body unwind into that. Lots of power. And trust me, this ball was down there pretty far. We haven't seen many guys tee off yet, but it's up the hill. Okay, we've got Lee Westwood now. It looks like he's going to go as a solo. Doesn't have anybody playing with him right now. Uh, Lee's from England. Looks like Lee's been working on his fitness too. He really looks buff right now. Here we've got the slow motion version of Lee's swing. Mm, not sure he's going to like that one. That's hooking a little bit. Yeah, we're going for a mulligan. Yeah, he striped that one. That's down the middle. Kind of a mid boring flight. Here's Tiger's old caddy, Stevie. And of course, Adam Scott, who's uh, employing him now. And that's Jeff Ogilvy with him, both players from Australia. I'm sorry I didn't catch Jeff quick enough there. That's his 
tee shot. And then we've got Adam here. We'll get this one in slow motion. Adam's actually hitting a three wood. We don't see that very often at all. He's the only guy so far that's gone with three wood off the first tee. I guess he's proving he's got the power to do it. That's a little bit up the left side, but by hitting that club, he can't knock it through the fairway. You can hear the wind in the mic now. It's really starting to blow pretty good. Feels like maybe gusting up to 20 right in their face. We've got David Toms here. David's usually a pretty steady swinger, steady player. No odd moves in his swing. Yeah, that ball is right down the center of the fairway. Next in this foursome, yeah, we've got Matt Kuchar. This is one of the few groups that's actually going as a foursome. These Monday practice rounds are kind of strange. Players, a lot of singles, twosomes. A lot of guys just play nine holes, but this is a nice foursome here. So we've got Kuchar. Uh, notice he kind of lets the club just hover above the ground. He doesn't actually sole it on the ground, kind of a lot like Jack Nicklaus used to do. And of course, Kuchar's known for that flat backswing. That's a good ball. He's drilled that uh, just a little left of where Tom's went, but still well within the fairway. And then this is going to be Harrison Fraser. Believe it or not, I think this is his first Masters. He's been on tour a long time. Harrison's another guy that looks really lean and fit. Yeah, fast hands, fast legs. He's he's powered that by these other guys. Uh, that's probably 20 yards past Kuchar and Tom's. Kind of a high, slight fade up the left side. Now this is uh, amateur. This is Kelly Kraft. Uh, playing in his first Masters, I would suspect. <laughs> Limber back there. Big, big follow through. And pretty good power on that ball, but the wind is blowing so hard, I think. I think this hole is 445. The bunker on the right, I think, is 250 to 260 out from the tee. And actually, a lot of these drives are just getting to the bunker. Uh, I think it may be a little over 300 to fly the bunker. This is uh, Tomas Bjorn. And I've edited the video a little here, just turning my camera on and off. These guys aren't teeing up this rapidly, obviously, but. Uh, we're just killing the space between groups, but right now it's, um, I guess it's about a little after 10.30. This is Robert Carlson of Sweden. Big guy. This is the tallest guy that's been on the tee this morning. I'm going to suspect he really moves a tee shot. Those of you that are students of mine, watch his setup routine there. He started out grasping the club in his left hand as he was looking at down the target line, put the left arm up on top of his body, got into the exact same type of setup that we preach out on the lesson T every day. Yep, that's drilled. Yeah, definitely takes advantage of his frame. I'm assuming he's about six foot four. A little bit pulled, but still pretty good ball. Uh, from England now, we've got Paul Casey. And with him is uh, also from England, Simon Dyson. Looks like they're just going to go as a twosome. Simon's going to hit first here. Good ball up the middle. That wind's just killing them. I guess these guys are probably having shots today that are ranging between 160 up to maybe 200 yards into the first green. Paul Casey's pretty stocky. Got Popeye forearms. He'll probably put some mustard on this tee shot, I would bet. That shirt's so loud, it's uh, probably affecting my camera settings. 
yeah, that's a nice little ball kind of starting up the left side. Just a tiny amount of fade as it flies up that side. That's pretty long. Okay, we're getting on up to, uh, it's now about 11.30. This is actually Charles Howell, who's uh, an Augusta native here. Making a practice swing. Charles has uh, changed his swing a lot. I remember filming it a few years ago and it had kind of an odd flat loop in it. It looks like his swing is really solid right now. He's always had a lot of power. Not a terribly big guy, but uh, had a very early promising career on the tour and it seems like he's starting to get things back together now. The ball's pushed a little bit, but I don't think he can reach the bunker just because the wind is blowing so hard. Yeah, that's safely down. This is uh, Patrick Cantley, amateur, first Masters. Swing sort of reminds me a little bit of Luke Donald. That's right up the middle pretty nicely. And then rounding out this group, they're just a threesome. This is Bo Van Pelt. Bo's actually from my wife's hometown of Richmond, Indiana. Small town right near the Indiana-Ohio border. Bo's had a pretty solid run of the last few years on tour. Looks like he's kind of set up maybe for a little bit of a cut. Just kind of start it down the left center. That's a good shot shape for this hole. It's kind of a it's a tough ball to get in play. The bunkers on the right pinch in, and then the fairway dog legs a little right, so you, it's easy to pull the ball through the fairway. I think this wind is helping it play a little wider because you can't get up in the narrow part of the fairway. But on other days when it's calmer, it'll be a little bit tougher. Okay, I botched this last year. I think I called him Carl. This is Charles Schwartzel for everybody out there that was mad at me for mispronouncing his name. Uh, Charles is playing with uh, Louis Oosthuizen. These are, these two guys are just kind of average sized guys, but they both absolutely pound it. Uh, Charles got a lot of lag. You know, I've done a lot of things on YouTube teaching lag, and he's got a a lot of fast hip clearing there. He really moves it out there a long way, and so does Ustase. Yeah, you can hear the whistles in the crowd there. That's a good ball. And now for Louis. Former British Open champ. Oops, I don't think he's going to like that. He got it hooking a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but practice round day, he's got uh, the right to a mulligan like a lot of us would do if we're out playing. So let's see if we can do better on the second attempt here. Yeah. I don't have to tell you. You can tell by the crowd's response. That's right up the gut and long. Okay, we've got the Molinari brothers uh, from Italy. There's annual rite of spring for them. I think I've filmed them now in three masters in a row. Pretty amazing that two brothers can play this sport this well and both end up playing in the masters every year. Uh, odds of that must be pretty slim. And they're just playing as a twosome, so just the pair of Molinari's here. Both pretty compact swings, efficient hitters. Okay, that's a good shot down the middle. I think we're going to go over to the putting green now. I think Webb Simpson's over. Yep, yeah, here's Webb. Uh, and, you know, for those of you that may not know it, um, 
22 years ago, I was just a young assistant pro at Carolina Country Club in Raleigh, and Webb was just getting his start in golf. And no, I had nothing to do with really getting him started or where he is now, but uh, it's just interesting to have seen him grow up and and where he's come with his golf. I'm not sure any of us would have known 22 or 23 years ago this is where he'd end up. Although I have to tell you, watching him grow up and practice and play as hard as he did, it's no surprise that he's here. That's his coach with him, the uh, head professional from Carolina Country Club. That's Ted Kegel. Here, just working on their putting together. Uh, Ted used to be one of the professionals, or one of the teaching professionals here at Augusta, so he knows these greens pretty well. Well, it makes that look pretty easy. These greens are super slick, really, really fast. Pretty neat to get this kind of access, though. I'm literally just four or five feet away being able to film this. Watch how fast this is. That's a, like a two-inch stroke. It takes forever for that ball to finish rolling. Just watch this one. Just a little bit downhill. Just breathe on it. And there it goes. All right, well, let's move on out. We're down in the 10th fairway now. This is the group with Harrison Frazier and David Toms. Harrison had just hit that shot into about 10 feet, and watch how far this putt rolls by. Looks like he could make it. Now you've got a testy six-footer coming back. Now we're on 11. This is David Tom's shot on 11. Now Webb Simpson back in the 10th fairway. After they finished putting, they've just teed off on the back nine. This is uh, Zach Johnson. He's got a green jacket in his closet somewhere. solid shot maker okay well this is going to do it kind of for the golf course and uh, the putting green and some of the other stuff we'll get back out just kind of finish at the range here as uh kind of walk over the driving range on the other side of the property so we'll head back over there and finish up but uh saw a lot of great golf out on the golf course this morning this is a shot of the uh, clubhouse obviously uh, just coming down beside the uh where this is shot, I'm standing between the first fairway and the clubhouse. And just coming down the hill, I'm, I'm actually headed down the hill back toward the, uh, back toward the scoreboard. I think I'll have a shot here um, coming right up. Yeah, so there's the master scoreboard. Got all the country flags. I think we've got players this year. I think it's 22 countries. All right, driving range now. This is Hunter Mayhan. Finally got a Decent camera. It's hard to get a good camera angle in the bleachers, but I'm kind of roaming around. This is Alvaro Curos from Spain. Really long hitter. And I was lucky. I got back out here on the range in the afternoon. This is Gary Woodland. That was a swing I really wanted to get today. So he was hitting some bunker shots. Now he's back up on the tee and finally got a decent down the line view here where nobody was standing in the way to block it. The caddies are almost always in the way. I think this is just a sand wedge shot, but it's a good camera angle. Got a nice slow motion look of that. And I think uh, he's already been hitting balls for two or three hours, so I'm not sure what we'll get here. This is probably a second or third trip shot. Alvaro, yeah, I guess we've got driver now. I'm getting too old to see these shots. My eyesight's not that great going into the sun like that, but I can tell you they're going way out there. Okay, day one, 2012 Masters practice rounds in the books. Thanks for watching.